Hey, good morning. Glad to see you. Today, we're not actually on our farm. I'm doing contracts um, while we wait for the barley to be ready to harvest. And we ended up with a bunch of grass contracts. So I figured I'd bring you in so I could show you that silage making process. And then that saves us from having to buy our own grass field. So I borrowed the items. I'm using my tractor our tractor from the farm because we had a higher horsepower than the ones that they offered and I figured it'd be better just to make sure that we could go fast sometimes they'll give you stuff that's a little underpowered and if there's any hills or anything or even trying to use like both mowers it might be just enough horsepower to do it but I figured we'd use our tractor uh, we have a front mower and a rear mower on here. I also brought up all the other equipment. I accidentally borrowed the equipment from two of these three contracts that I've got going right now. So I just kind of picked the ones that I liked the most. We have this wind rower, which once we mow it, this will make it into windrows and two lines that we can then run over with this baler. This is a round baler. Um, and then we will come along and wrap the bales with this. And the transport that they give you to get all of the bales down to, uh, I believe these all go to the animal dealer, are these. They go on the front and back. And you can carry one bale at a time. But we have the front loader now. So I brought our bale trailer and our front loader up so we could load the bales on our trailer. So I figure that'll be a little easier. We can transport all the bales at once instead of two at a time. So if we jump in the tractor here, uh, I've already got this unfolded. It's just X to fold and unfold. Kind of lined up. And I didn't show you this before, but if you hit control when you have multiple tools on, like if I hit control and V, that'll drop both it'll do the front first and then it'll do the back and if you hit control B that'll turn all the tools on at once so I'll go ahead and turn these mowers on get these so the three fields are the one that I'm on currently we're up here in the corner we have 16 14 and then 18 which is a larger one um, I'll go ahead and mow these three and then I'll get back to you and we'll start bailing them up and then turn them into silage. See you very soon. So we're just finishing up all the mowing. Fortunately, even though it's very cloudy, the rain has held off while we got the mowing completed. So it's not gonna affect our yield. Um, yield is important on a contract because if you don't deliver all of the expected product at the end, you can't complete the contract and if you have to cancel the contract you may end up um, owing money I think there's a big fee or you got to pay the difference or something but either way you want to make sure you get all of the all of the expected crop delivered at the end so we're done with these mowers I borrowed them so we can just set them anywhere that was the wrong button. There we go. G to switch. So we'll just set those somewhere out of our way. And our next step is going to be wind rowing. And we'll come hook up to this wind rower over here. Like I said, this will just gather all of the grass that's down there into lines. 
there we go, that's close enough. Alright, X to unfold. I chose the bigger wind rower they offered just to make it easier and quicker. So X has unfolded it, B will turn it on, set the rakes to spinning, and then B to lower it. You see that vehicle tool reserved for contract work? That's because I'm just off the field with the tool. Once we go on to the field, that'll go away, as I'm sure you saw while we were mowing. It's just yelling at us saying, hey, you can't use this elsewhere. And so if we were to try, let me turn it off for a second. If we were to try to mow the field next to us there, that's also grass, that would come up. Mowers are a little funny. I don't know if it would actually mow it or not, but we wouldn't be able to windrow it and pick it up. It just wouldn't work. Um, the mowers probably wouldn't work. If you had, say, you were harvesting corn on a contract and you went to the field next to the field you were on, it wouldn't let you harvest the corn. So that's a good thing to remember. Helps you make sure that you're doing the right field sometimes. So I'll go ahead and get this all lined up and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so if we just wanted grass to feed our sheep, say these were our fields, this would be our last step um, as far as working the grass, and then we could either bail it or pick it up with a forward harvester, and then that's done. Silage, which is what we're making a day, we need to bail it and then wrap it, or we could pick it up with a forward harvester and put it in a silage pit which I didn't show you this before but you go under silos it's these here they're just big concrete pits they snap 90 degrees to the grid um, and if you place one down and put one next to it they'll snap right together but those you just drive it in with the forage harvester, drop it off. Once you've got all the grass in there that you want, you would then drive over top of it with a tractor or something to compact it. There's a button to hit to put a cover on it, and then you have to wait until it ferments Then go in with a bucket loader or a conveyor or something to get it back out. So there's that and then if we were making hay before the step we just did we would have run over this with a tether and that just fluffs the grass up so that it becomes hay it turns the grass over so it can dry more because hay is basically just dried grass now if you're confused on what contracts ask and they they're pretty explicit so like the ones we're doing mow the grass then bale the grass and wrap it to make silage and then take it to the animal dealer. There is a hay contract on here. Mow the grass, dry it with a tether, and bale it. Take the bales to Johnson's Farmer's Market. And that one actually gives a bale trailer, or a, uh, a bale loader to use, so that would be much easier to transport than what they wanted to do on this one. So our next step, now that we've got it all in rows, is to bale it. This baler does not have a wrapper incorporated into it, so we're going to have to do an extra step of going back over with the wrapper after we bale it. Now, they don't specify what size they want, so we're going to make them as big as possible. This baler will do 125, 150, and 180 centimeter bales. And that's just the L button up there in that menu is where I'm looking. It's the second one down, change bale size. So this doesn't need to be unfolded or anything. 
it has a little pickup in the front if I can focus on it that'll go up and down there and then we'll just turn it on put that pickup down and run over all of these and it'll turn it into bales for us Oh, another thing. Automatic drop. So right now, right now, automatic drop is not on. So once the bale, once the baler gets full with a full bale, it'll stop picking up, but you'll keep driving. You have to hit a button to drop the bale. Those are good if you wanted to, say every time you made a bale, bring it over to a certain area, drop them all in an area so they're not all spread out. But we'll just get them from wherever they are. So we'll hit Z to put on an automatic drop. Now, once the bale's full, we will still have to stop for a second, but it'll just automatically drop where we are, and then we can continue driving. So we'll do this, and then I'll get back with you. Okay. So once you hit 85% full, it starts with that alarm so that you realize that you're almost full. So then if you go just a little bit more till it hits 100, you keep driving after it hits 100, it'll stop picking up until this bale is out. So we'll just stop, let it go. All right, now we're ready to go again. And then we just continue on our way. Okay, so that's not quite a full bell. Let's see, will let us change? I don't think so. I don't think we can change on the fly with stuff already in there, the size of the bell to make that a smaller bell. And I would be very surprised if we could uh, unload a partial out of this. But I'm looking to see, I know there was a couple of spots Here's a spot right here. I want to see if we pick up new grass, if that will change the size. No, so we should have changed, I should have changed the size before we went. I thought we had enough for another whole one. Let's see, can we, I, control I, no, yeah, it won't unload this. So we've got almost a full bale that we're not going to make money on. And I realized that I may have messed up. I may have made a mistake. Um, let me hook back to that so I know for sure. What side, what were they, 180 centimeters? We were making, yeah, 180 centimeter bales, but I'm not sure if that wrapper over there will use 180 centimeter bales. Let's go to bale wrappers, and that is definitely this first one, 125 to 150 centimeters. So we need... Yeah, it won't do 180 centimeter round bales. But we need this one. But we're gonna have to lease it. Otherwise, we're not gonna be able to complete the contracts. So that's going to eat into our profit for sure. So I will lease this 
30,000. What is it going to be like $4,000? Oh, 1500 dollars. So hopefully we make enough profit off of extra um, silage that it makes up for that. So we're going to lease that. I'll have to go get that from the shop. And I'll show you how much we're planning on making. So that's nine and a half thousand. So that's 15,000, 20,000 ish. Plus, if we make anything from the bales, if there's a leftover bale or two. But I'll go get that bale wrapper from the shop and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so here we are with the bale wrapper. Put the front loader on the tractor. I think this might be a stationary bale wrapper. So let's bring it up here in the middle, I guess. That way it's got to stay in one place. It can stay right in the middle. Set it right here. All right, let's see what we can do. Unfold bale wrapper with an X. Not allowed while the tool is attached to this attacher joint. Okay, so we'll unattach it. So now to control it, we're going to have to go get into it like it's a vehicle. Yeah, E to enter vehicle. Is there another attacher point? Looks like it might have its own motor. So this might just work independently. We might not have to hook a tractor to it. So E. Oh, so it turned right on because we got in. X to unfold. It has a cruise control speed. Oh, we can drive it around. Oh, I don't think you're supposed to drive it around. I think that's just for positioning. All right. Oh, all right. We may need to... Actually, let me do that first. So what I'm going to do is turn off... Uh, do, 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 not... And this one, and this one. Boop, boop, boop. Where are you? Automatic engine start. I'm going to turn that off. Because then we'll be able to leave this running with us not in it. Instead of having to jump in it every time. Because I'm hoping we don't need to jump back and forth from the tractor to this every time we put a bale in it. So now when we enter it, you can see the return key or enter key. We'll turn it on. So now when we get out, it'll stay running. So now we're also going to have to do that with our tractor. Looks like it probably feeds from this end over here. So let's grab a bale and see if we can get it wrapped. Might need to get a rear weight for this. These bales are kind of heavy. So what happens when you choose the largest size? Let's see. We just set that there. The wrapper is doing nothing. We have more controls. Oh, I wonder if we set it on this side and then it feeds out that way, maybe? Full bale wrapper. Okay. Yeah, let's push that in there a little further first and see like, if we get it centered up. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Now it's starting to wrap. Oh, do we have to hold it the whole time? Really? Okay. Let's set it down there. Okay. All right. Yeah, it does look like it feeds from the other side. And then it wraps as it goes. All right. And then what? It'll spit it right out on this end. Oh, no, no. okay. All right. I, I think I am picking up what's going on here. 
so the next bale will probably push that bale through. We, I really may need to hook up to something. I guess we can go get that um, rear mower and that might help keep our rear end down because that weighs a decent amount too. So if we set this here, we'll go the other way. There it goes. That'll feed it. Finish wrapping the fur. Oh, it's going to wrap them all in one big sausage. Okay. So we're going to need to figure out how to transport this sausage. Uh, let me get that mower on here. I'll get the mower on here. I'll keep feeding bales into this. I'll see if I can make the sausage uh, the length. Ooh, actually, you know what I might do? I wonder if we can transport it with stuff on it. I might transport all the grass bales to where we're going. Make the sausage there, because then we could just push it into the input instead of trying to transport a sausage. Okay, so if I hit X... Yeah, it's not going to do anything. But we can unload the two bales together, then we'll just have a double sausage. Or, uh, if, I guess if we jump back and forth... Wow, that is not having fun it missed it the bail pusher there went underneath all right let's try it again okay that time it pushed it this game so much so yeah let me put that mower on there see if I can get this double bale up onto the trailer I guess let me bring the trailer over to it and we'll use the mount the mower as a counterweight oh here we got another tractor I'll grab the trailer with the second tractor and then yeah I'll transport all well maybe not going to take some jiggery pokery but we may be able to put one in at a time and then jump in there and unload and have it just wrap a single bale at a time I don't that doesn't seem to be the way this thing's intended to use to be used but oh yeah I think we can just get this on the trailer so oops I jumped right past it there we go. Oh, we gotta start the engine. We pull this trailer right over. Yeah, so we'll make it work. That's why it's important to check your specifics. <laughs> Had I thought about it, we would have checked this bale wrapper um, before I started bailing and made bales that fit in the bale wrapper. Um, usually I use a baler that has the wrapper integrated into it. So that thought didn't even really cross my mind. Well, this trailer is not going to hold very many bales at all. That's okay. This um, wrapping is going to take a while. So what I can do have the AI go and deliver bales as I'm sitting here making them.
So let's and get off the parks. There we go. No, don't roll off the trailer. Strap it down. Alright. We can probably fit one more. So we're going to have to do this three bales at a time. We can get rid of that. Grab this bale. I swear, when you have the right tools, this job is super easy. But when you make mistakes, you have to get yourself out of them somehow. This isn't a game-breaking mistake. It's just a little, oh, here's a bunch of extra work you have to do and some money you have to spend kind of mistake, which happens. All right, single bail in. Let's let it do its thing. And then, so now we hit R. Yes, so it will do an individual bail at a time. Good. And it pushes itself, uh, not into the tractor. Okay, so yeah, this is just gonna take a little bit more goofing around than normal, but that's okay. We can do that. So normally with the other bailer that they provided with the contract, you just drive it over the bales and then it'll wrap them in the field. You don't have to do all this extra work. But you live and you learn, right? Now we've all learned something today. So I'll go ahead, oh actually, I'll show you how to get this guy doing what he's supposed to be doing. Which he probably, he won't unload because it's not like a typical trailer. My guess. So we'll just get him to drive to the animal dealer, then I'll have to, um, Probably unload. I wonder. We may be able to get him to go and come back if he drives. No, because I guess he'd have to undo the straps. And they're not going to do that. So if we jump in here, hit escape, go to the wheel, we can either go to or. That's it. Just go to is the only thing that we'll get with the tool set that he's got. So, instead of doing that, we'll hit cancel. If we set destination, let's double check that that's yes. So, the exclamation point down here where we're taking them. So, we can just set his destination to, oh, I don't know, say somewhere in the animal dealer. There he goes. Now he's taken off. And I can continue on with this. Okay, so our guys made it down here. So we'll drive into the input. I turned off the inputs, but I can turn them back on so we can see them. Da -da 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 -da. Interactive zone markers. There we go. So now you can see where we need to bring it. And we should be able to unstrap it. Yep, it all took it. So I've made a, um, that's 48% transported for the largest. That'll take three and a half more, and then those will probably each take like one and a half. So if we get over six and a half, seven more bells, we should be 
start making profit at that point. I'm not sure how many bales we have, but I'm going to set this, come back. I guess we'll put them stay right there. Come on, click. There it goes. Okay. So this tractor's going. I've made a three bale sausage there. So we'll see if we can get that on the trailer. But then we have three, six, nine more bales. So we should make a decent profit, even though we're having to goof around a little extra long. And I had to lease this baler that I've never used before. Let's see if we can pick this up. Oh, oh no, this one's going to be a bit tough. I looked at our weight. Our rear weight that we have is about three quarters of the weight of this mower that we have on there. So even putting our weight on there is not going to work very well. I can drive it forward. I can just almost get it off the ground. Let me see what I can get for rear weights. Because if I can do them three at a time, we could potentially get all of that. Three, three. So get all but the last three on the trailer at once. So I'll do that. I'll wait for the trailer to get back. We'll get it loaded up. And then I'll bring you back when we go to sell everything. So after a lot of struggling and buying a new weight... Uh, I still ended up having to wrap the bales individually, stick them on there, and then go jump in it um, and push it out and then do the next one. But this is our last load on the load right before this that I brought over. We actually started making money already. Uh, sold bales. We've already made $7,633 on sold bales. And the contracts are all complete. We're not going to close the contracts until I sell all of the bales. Well, we have 37,500 liters on the trailer right now to sell. And all of the money from this will go directly to us. And we'll make money straight off of that. And uh, the other thing about contracting for silage is as soon as you wrap them um, in a contract, it becomes silage. But when you're doing it on your own farm, uh, you have to wrap it and then you have to give it time. I think it's a month and a half, two months, something like that, to ferment, to become silage. And so you can't just wrap them and immediately sell them. You have to wrap them, wait for it to ferment and become silage. And then once it does, if you want the best price, wait until you have the best price. Now, I think we could probably take these back to the farm, use them or store them. They shouldn't disappear when I complete those contracts. But just to be safe, we're just going to go sell them. I've already wasted enough money making that mistake with the baler and making the bales the wrong size. But I think we should more than make up for it quite a bit. We'll look at the finances once we get these sold. We just got to get off on this next exit and then the animal dealer's right there. And then we'll sell these and see how we ended up for the day so we had to lease we had to lease that bow wrapper and I bought this front weight to try to pick up the three wrapped together at a time which just did not end up working um, 
I think that's all we spent, plus the, the minimal amount for the two contracts, uh, borrowing the equipment, but that just comes out of what we get paid from the contract. We just get paid the, a slightly lower amount, and I think it was only a couple hundred dollars for each. So we should make substantial money, because what, what was that? I think the contracts were going to make us about 20000 We've already made 7000 And all of this is uh, cash in our pockets. So this will certainly help. Uh, between this and then maybe selling our first load of flour when we get to that point. Because uh, all the barley I'll put into the mill that we can make into flour. And then we already have flour up there. We're just waiting for... Oh, when was it for flour? I don't, want to, I don't want to miss it. I think it was midwinter sometime, though. Yeah, December. Waiting for December to sell the flour. And then we'll sell that to the bakery. And then at that point, between this silage and the flour sale, we should hopefully have enough to buy the bakery. I'm not sure how much the bakery costs. We'll check in a minute. So if we pull this over here, get rid of our straps, and now they're 18,624, we'll go ahead and complete the contracts, collect, 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 now there's still failing contracts we could do, but I think we're done with this for the day, uh, if we go to the money, I spent $1,500 on the front weight, uh, $1,500 on leasing that bail loader, which I need to return that. Uh, we made $26,258 on the extra product from those three contracts. And we made $19,891 on the contract income. That's what we got paid for the contracts. And then $298 in wage payments because I had the AIs ferry a bunch of that equipment up there to begin with to save me trips and I had them running back and forth well I had yeah I had them running back and forth with the um, bail trailer to pop over here sell them send him back while I was over there wrapping bales so overall we made forty two thousand eight hundred and twenty one dollars we have 58858 We still owe $40,000 on our loan. So I've been paying $133 in interest every month. We owe $40,000. I think we're going to repay half of that. So down here we can repay $5,000 at a time. There we go. So now we only owe $20,000. We have $38,000 in the bank. And I wonder if our interest will go half. Or if it'll just go down a little bit. We'll see. But we should be owing less interest. I'm going to, while I'm thinking about it, return this bail wrapper that we don't need so we don't get charged again. And I'm going to look at the map and just make sure I didn't leave anything up there. I don't think I did. I think I brought everything with me. Yeah. There's no more equipment up there. That's why I have the front weight. Or that's why I have the weight on the front, even though I have the forks on just to carry it bury it back to the farm but yeah that's more contract work and that's how grass works like I said it's insanely profitable so we sold half of what we made off of those three small fields and made how much yeah twenty twenty six thousand dollars off of the leftovers of those fields. Um, so if you have grass, you turn it into silage. So say you even had just 18 there, the bigger of the, of the three that we did. So you have this, you could probably make that much or more at a time. And you can do it three times a year. 
insanely profitable. Best in the game. But we're going to call that there. You have a great day. I'll probably see you tomorrow. Have fun and happy farming. Bye.